There's something that's been on my mind that comes up like every time I hear somebody use a particular phrase it, and it, it comes up, you know, fairly relatively often, uh, something like goes off in my brain and I go through this rant <laughs> every time I hear this phrase. So I've <laughs> thought like, I just need to get this out and say it, like get it recorded so I can just like stop thinking it every time somebody uh, says this and maybe maybe it'll have some effect. So the phrase in question is low skill labor, <laughs> low skilled work. I despise this term because every time somebody uses that term, what I think is all you're showing is that you do not understand that job. You don't know what is involved in that work. And I say this as somebody who has done a lot of jobs that get uh, labeled as low skill. Um, and I've done them enough to know that they're not low skill. There's plenty of skills involved. Um, so to take one example, and this is, you know, when I really realized when I was like in my early twenties um, or maybe middle twenties uh, <laughs> working at a, a, a bakery and uh, got to work with a janitor there named Joe. And Joe was a high, a high skilled janitor, a very high skilled janitor. So like, let me tell you what is involved with being a high skilled janitor, right? You're keeping a facility clean. It's specifically like a food production facility in this case. You have to know what you're cleaning on a daily basis what you're cleaning on a weekly basis, what needs to be cleaned twice during a shift, what needs to be done once a month, what's, you know, when everybody is at different stations doing work so you can be in different places not getting in their way. Um, you have to have all of this like super systematized and as well as being like very efficient with just like your physical, you, you know, motions, being able to get stuff done in a very efficient manner and, and just, you know, being physically fit, which, Again, something that in jobs, we don't count as a skill for some reason, like being strong and having good endurance. If you're a football player, if you're a soccer player, right, that's a skill. You're, oh, you're a skilled athlete because you're strong and, <laughs> you know, it can go forever. If you do have those exact same skills in the labor market, all of a sudden you're a low skill worker. So Joe was like super on the ball and was way higher skilled of a worker than plenty of people who work behind desks, right? Um, it, it's, it's possible to do any job, this is my thing, in a low skilled way or in a high skilled way. And uh, I have known, I'm sure we all know, plenty of people who, you know, have hey Josh. positions. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, any job can be done in a high skilled manner and a low skilled manner and the whole the, like concept that particular jobs, uh, like are only low skilled is just to me is insulting. Um, and, you know, I've known plenty of people in management positions who are pretty low skilled managers, right? <laughs> you know, like just because you have a degree, just because you have a, a title doesn't mean that you necessarily are are great at your job and joe as a janitor like i don't think there's anybody in the world that is more skilled than he is at his job and there are plenty of people making a lot more money who there's lots of people who are more skilled at their job than they are so um i it, i would really prefer that we just stop using the term low skilled labor because i think it's a complete misnomer it's manual labor by and large is what we're talking about um and it's not, you know, and, and a part, you know, yes. And it's even something like ditch digging, right? Like, I don't know if you've ever done any ditch digging or digging holes. That's like the epitome of low skilled labor, right? Oh, you just take a shovel, you just dig a hole. Like, what's the big deal? Like, okay, how many ditches have you dug? I've dug a few. Okay, here you go. Here's here's a hundred, you know, yard stretch that we need to dig a ditch in, and it's gotta have like a two percent grade, right? Because it's got the water's gotta go down and like and here's your shovel. And uh, you know, it's gotta be like straight and it's gotta, you know, look good. And also, you know, hopefully you're not gonna have, you know, you've done this a whole bunch, so you're gonna have blisters on your hands like within the first five minutes. Um, so there's a lot of skills involved and even something like that. So I just, you know, this is my little rant of saying like, okay, let's stop using this term low skilled labor. That's something that I think capitalists came up with to, you know, justify underpaying particular people. Um, so we should evict it from our, uh, 
our vocabulary in the worker co-op movement.